every business should think about intellectual property. Personal ownership of property has always been around, but in the last few centuries, the ownership of intellectual property, the things the mind has created, has come into being. How you own and commercially use an idea can be very simple and very complex all at the same time. Intellectual property law then decides on who owns what and for how long. If you're a venture with a new idea, you may or may not be able to protect and commercially exploit it. It will depend on the type of idea and whether it's been done before. Some ideas involve the way a device or potential product works. It will have a working function to it. Sometimes people want to protect the name or logo of their brand. At other times they want to protect the way a product looks because that's what gives it its value. Or perhaps it may be a written sound or visual creation. These too can become your intellectual property. You have a menu of options when it comes to deciding how you protect any one of these types of ideas. And there are the four types of intellectual property. Patents, trademarks, design and copyright. Your idea can be protected with more than one of these, and sometimes all of them. What is important is that your idea is tangible. In the UK, anything too abstract is not possible to protect. Just having a new business idea is not enough. It must be demonstrated in some way. Only then can it be potentially protected. Once you have protection, then that idea will become your tangible asset for you to use or even sell to others. Intellectual property law can be very complex. It's always recommended to seek professional advice wherever possible. It may well save you time and money in the longer term. Patents cover in a functional way the new features of a product or the method of making it. It should be non-obvious and an innovative step on what's gone before. It should never have been made public in any way. If your product includes other existing patents, you won't be able to produce it without permission from the owners of those patents. You will need to apply for a patent from the Intellectual Property Office. If your patent is granted, then you have 20 years from the date of application to exploit it. You will need to file a patent in other countries if you wish to commercially use your idea outside of the UK. It's recommended to do a patent search to see if your idea is original and also to seek legal advice from a patent attorney and how you draft your application. More helpful information on patenting and the processes involved are available on the Intellectual Property Office's website. Next time you buy any product off the shelf, take a good look at the brand on it. Chances are it'll display a small R in a circle, or perhaps a TM initial. That's how you know you're looking at a trademark. A registered trademark with the R symbol can be a word, logo or image, or even a combination of any of them. Once registered, they can in theory last forever provided they continue to be used. It is possible to search for existing registered UK trademarks on the website of the UK Intellectual Property Office. If you just use the unregistered TM mark, it's up to you to be able to prove that the mark is well known and that your business will be affected if infringed. The good thing is that anybody can create an entirely new original name or logo have it registered and protected, just like all the other famous brands we know so well. A design covers the eye appeal of an object and not its function. It's about the appearance of the whole or part of a product. It can include colors, shape and textures too. It can be either two or three dimensional. It must have novelty and individual character. Just like a trademark, you can register a design with the Intellectual Property Office and also search existing registered designs. 
in the UK, there is also something called design right. It starts from when the design is first fixed in a design document and must be three-dimensional. It lasts for a maximum of 15 years and can protect you from deliberate copying. Always keep good records of documents and when your design has been disclosed. Design protection can be a complex area of law and varies between countries. Good legal advice is recommended. Nearly everybody has heard of copyright. You can recognize it. You may have seen the C in a circle symbol. In the UK, copyright can apply to music, writing, websites, photography, artwork, packaging, and software. Protection is free and automatic, and varies according to format. However, lifetime plus 70 years is the usual term. Unlike the other types of intellectual property, there is no formal register for copyright. But copyright is denoted by the C in a circle symbol, plus the name of the owner and the year it was created. The IPO website has some helpful guides on explaining and enforcing copyright. There's one other form of protection not covered by intellectual property law, and that's known as trade secrets. It can be helpful for things you can't formally protect, such as business procedures, recipes for food, and business contacts. In law, there are certain conditions where you can sue for breach of confidence. Having a formal non-disclosure or confidentiality agreement is often a safer option. Early on, it's important to work out what it is that makes your idea commercial and the best ways of IP protection. Here at the Business and IP Centre in London, we have a team of specialists that can help you with your IP. We offer workshops, one-to-one -one support, and you can try our free e-course on intellectual property. There's also a fee-based research team who can do the hard work for you. So for more information, visit our website bl.uk forward slash BIPC.